Hello friends, here I will discuss you about some common homeopathic remedies that should be used in every household. So why homeopathic remedy should be used in every household? There are two reasons. Number one is that the homeopathic medicines have no side effects because these are dilutions. The drug substance is diluted multiple number of times before it is converted into medicine. So there is no crude drug substance in the medicine. Hence, there is no side effects. Number one point. Number two is even now the homeopathic remedies are considered as the least expensive remedy than the other medications. Hence, homeopathic remedies should be used in every household for the common ailments. I will discuss with you 14 common such homeopathic remedies. However, if you have further any doubt, you can WhatsApp me in this given number or you can visit my website to ask your query also. Now homeopathic remedies 1 to 14 I will give you with their indications. If that indication is there, then you use it and the, at the end of the presentation, I will tell you the potency of the medicine, which power of the medicine you should use and uh, the dosage of the medication also, I will tell you. So these are quite safe potencies and safe doses also. So if the problems are not yielding with these medications within one or two days, then it is advisable to visit to the doctor. Coming to the remedies, number one medicine is called aconite. Aconite is a remedy what we think of giving you when there is any sudden ailment, sudden cold, sudden fever. The mother telephones to the doctor, doctor my child was playing in the uh, terrace or veranda and uh, there is a, a strong wind blowing over there and uh, all of a sudden the, my child got cold and fever, very high temperature, the forehead is very hot and face is uh, looking also very flushed, reddish. So what can I give? Think of the remedy aconite. Number two medicine is allosocotrina. Allosocotrina we can think of when there is a loose motion. Loose motion can be because of amoebiasis. If in the intestine you have infection, amoebiasis, lot of mucus formation, you can have this uh, loose motion and uh, pain in the stomach. And particularly the loose motion will be there as soon as the person eats. Immediately after eating, the person has to rush to the restroom. And why he rushes? Because the motion, the stool is watery. Otherwise, it will come out. So, for the watery stool and there is a loose motion after eating, think of the remedy Alos Socotrina. Next, coming to the other remedy, number three is the Arnica. Arnica Montana is the full name and it is a very, very common remedy in homeopathy that can be used by any person. So the, in, the indication is the injury. Injury means what kind of injury it is? It is a, a closed injury. Remember the closed injury where the skin is not torn. The skin remains intact. Remember if the skin is torn, then Arnica is contraindicated. If skin remains intact, then Arnica is indicated. So why it is a bluish color, blackish blue color? Because the blood underneath the skin has got clotted. And uh, this area has got a blow or struck from outside. That is why underneath there is a blood clot and there is swelling, there is pain. Then think of the remedy Arnica. Arnica to be used internally for intake and the same time Arnica mother tincture can be used. Mother tincture is the cue. It can be used for the external application. Arnica is a wonderful remedy for 
closed type of injury it is a not a open injury number 4 is arsenic alb arsenic alb we think of when the person has taken some cold food or cold drink or ice cream so any kind of chilled food or chilled drink the person has taken then after the sore throat sneezing pain in the throat or um, uh, headache or uh, feverish feeling anything starts then think of the remedy arsenic alb you can see also another symptom where there is frequent thirst the person say i am having cold but the sensation is that i feel thirsty i want to drink water time and again and at a time just one sip just to make the mouth wet i drink and i drink very often that calls for the remedy arsenic alb another indication is that there is a, a sneezing with a watery discharge from the nose the person when he bends down there is a discharge from the nose which is just like water flowing down then think of the remedy arsenic alb belladonna belladonna is the first remedy when we think of any kind of headache remember headache where the two sides of the head can you see the two sides of the head these are called temples of the head these pain a lot the person holds like this two sides of the head and there is a throbbing type of headache that is pumping type of headache this place called these places we have a artery called carotid artery so there is excessive blood flow through this carotid artery that is why the person gets gets a congestive headache so for this type of headache we give the remedy belladonna belladonna the throbbing type of headache or any kind of inflammation where there is redness of the face or in anywhere of the body there is redness heat pain in case of boils also where there is redness inflammation and pain so anywhere we see an inflammation we can think of the remedy belladonna belladonna you can say like the analgesic or the anti inflammatory remedy in allopathy the way they use the nemosilides pain killers like that we can think of the remedy belladonna in homeopathy next bryonia bryonia is the remedy for dry cough bryonia is indicated when the fever will be there and after the fever has gone the cough has started think of the remedy bryonia and you see in the bryonia the indication is there is pain in the chest while coughing so the person holds the chest supports the chest with the hand because the mucus in the respiratory tract has dried up and stuck and uh, it is difficult to come out so that is why you get a dry cough it irritates the respiratory tract and uh, uh, that is why you get the cough and when the phlegm comes out after bryonia the chest becomes clear cough goes and uh, the person is in health so after antibiotic you have taken for fever if the cough had started then think of the remedy bryonia where there is pain in the chest while coughing and uh, nothing comes out no phlegm comes out think of the remedy bryonia next calendula when do we think of calendula calendula is for the open injury i have told you earlier that uh, there is a closed injury that is uh, calling for arnica but here the open injury the skin is open in case of uh, abrasion this is called abrasion the skin is torn or after the accident if the flesh is itself is visible there is a lacerated skin then think of the remedy calendula you can clearly see the difference between arnica and uh, the calendula fine next is uh, 
arnica also we can use in uh, as external application arnica q mother tincture can be applied externally and ca uh, uh, calendula uh, i'm sorry to say you calendula q calendula q can be applied externally and calendula can be used for internal medication also for the injury but the main point is the skin should be open or injury should be open next remedy calls for the gastric ailment that is called carbo wedge carbo wedge so from the vegetable charcoal it is being prepared so carbo wedge will call for gastric problem when there is excessive gas formation in the stomach and there is a gas release also and uh, the release of gas is very offensive the person comes and says so much of gas forms doctor and i feel very awkward to sit with my colleagues or uh, friends because uh, when i release the gas it spreads the offensiveness throughout that area and i feel very am embarrassed because of this why there is an offensive flatus it is because of the fermented food in the intestine the intestine when slows down it does not absorb the required food content then the food remains in the intestine for days long few days then the fermentation of those particles happen then that converts into the gas offensive gas so first blindly think of the remedy carbo wedge and this is more particularly worse in the evening hours so think of the remedy carbo wedge next is the colosynth when do we think of colosynth colosynth is the remedy when there is a colic pain pain in the stomach or lower abdomen pain in the intestine and pain is so much that the person cannot stand straight we see uh, the patients coming to us they will bend down they cannot stand they will enter into the chamber bending down also holding the stomach with the hand because they feel if they press the stomach they feel better and they remain bent forward and there is a mucus in the stool that confirms that uh, that, is, that is the reason of the kali bicrom kali bicrom is the first remedy when we think of a sinus problem sinus problem how to recognize uh, it is a sinus problem when there is a heaviness in the forehead or there is a pain at the root of the nose then think of the remedy kali bicrom because the sinus is uh, affected so nasal blockage is also another associated symptom of sinusitis the forehead is heavy he cannot bend down then uh, uh, you can think of the remedy kali by chrome next remedy is uh, lycopodium in case of lycopodium we will have again the gas formation and there is bloating of the stomach and there is uh, no appetite at all and it is worse in the evening so what is the difference between the carbovage and the lycopodium carbovage also we have discussed that it has got uh, the same gastric problem and the same worse in the evening what is the difference in case of carbovage we discussed that very offensive flatus the gas gets released which is very very offensive but uh, in case of lycopodium that is lacking that doesn't have also in case of lycopodium there is no appetite doesn't feel like eating next remedy is nux vomica those who are eating non veg spicy food liquor oily food etc regularly and then after the problem starts the piles will be there the pain in the piles or the motion it becomes hard after all this kind of food uh, constipation there is acidity burning in the chest etc after such kind of intake think of the remedy nux vomica but if it is not a non veg food you have taken a vegetarian food oily food rich food or fatty food pastries etc 
when you got any stomach upset think of the remedy pulse chila last remedy is the rostox rostox is a very common remedy for any kind of problem which comes after the change of weather from summer to winter or from winter to summer when there is a strong cold wind or you have gone to a uh, from a normal temperature area you have gone to hill top or a hill station then you started having problem you start a little little restlessness in the body with the body ache the person will have body ache but he keeps on moving constantly his body that is called restlessness of the body then think of the remedy rostox so these are the 14 common remedies i told you here the power is 200 the potency is 200 you can buy all these medicines in 200 power and keep in your home and whenever these indicated symptoms come you can start using it doses is 3 times a day in case you buy drops then 3 to 4 drops in one dose or in case you buy buy the pills then four pills 3 to 4 pills in one dose and such kind of three doses in a day you can take for three days you can take safely without any side effect if you feel better you stop it if this medicine does not respond then further you can visit to the nearby physician if you like this presentation subscribe here for the next health update as soon as possible thank you so much for uh, listening to me